Hello everyone, I'm Vanessa Keir. So as you may have heard, Literature and Latte have recently released a new version of Scrivener called Scrivener 3 for the Mac. And I'm sure a lot of you are as excited as I am to dive in and start playing around with it. But there are several things you need to know before you get started with this new version of Scrivener. So that's what I'm going to cover today in this very short video. The first thing you need to know about Scrivener 3 is that for most users, this is a paid upgrade. If you purchased Scrivener 2 on or after August 20th, 2017, then that is a free upgrade. But for everybody else who already had Scrivener 2, it's right now in the US a $25 upgrade. Now, this is for if you bought Scrivener directly from Literature and Latte. If you bought it through the Mac OS app store, then you need to follow the instructions on their checkout page to get the upgrade pricing. You also need to realize that when you download Scrivener 3, it will override Scrivener 2. So if you're someone who's working on a deadline, for example, you're trying to get your 50,000 words done for NaNoWriMo by the end of November, then I suggest you actually don't upgrade to Scrivener 3 yet because it will take you a little bit of time to get up to speed. However, if you are very impatient or just very curious, the steps I'm gonna show you in this video will help you keep your Scrivener 2 going so that can be your working program and keep all of your files safe over in Scrivener 2, but also allow you to download Scrivener 3, and then you can copy files over into Scrivener 3 to play around with without interfering with your working version in Scrivener 2. Okay, so what are we going to do first? The first thing I suggest is that you create a new folder to hold copies of your current projects that you want to test out in Scrivener 3. Why should you create separate folders? Well, when you go and open a Scrivener 2 project in Scrivener 3, it's going to ask you to upgrade the file to the Scrivener 3 format. Then if you save that and you go back and try to open that file back in Scrivener 2, it won't be able to open it. So it's better to keep a separate copy of your working Scrivener 2 project and then over in a Scrivener 3 folder have a copy of that so that it's your demo project as you're playing around in Scrivener 3. If you make a mistake and accidentally open your working Scrivener 2 file over in Scrivener 3, don't panic. You can save a Scrivener 3 project down in a file format that Scrivener 2 can read or that Windows version of Scrivener can read. So you can actually create a new project folder at the same time as you're saving the project under a new name. So I'm going to go up into File, Save As. And I'm going to save it here on my desktop, but what I'm going to do is down here at the bottom, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it Scrivener 3 Projects. And then I'm actually going to add to the end of this file name Scriv3, just for my own reference. Now that you've saved a copy of your working Scrivener 2 project, under a name with an indicator that it's for Scrivener 3 and in a new folder. Once you have Scrivener 3 on your machine, you're less likely to accidentally open up your working file from Scrivener 2 over in Scrivener 3. That means you can go ahead and play with the files in Scrivener 3 and make any changes you want just to try out the program without actually affecting your working version. So we've done these first two steps on my list. Now we're going to rename our current Scrivener application file to Scrivener 2. That's the step that's going to prevent Scrivener 3 from overriding the current Scrivener 2 program because it's just going to download as Scrivener without a number after it. And in order to get this renamed, I'm going to have to actually go up and close Scrivener. 
Now you can see I am out here in my Applications folder, and here's Scrivener. I'm going to highlight it, and then I'm going to click again. Make sure you don't do those clicks too close together, because otherwise it'll open it. But I just want to click it one more time just to get the editing window open, and then I'm just going to put the number 2 at the end. And now it's asking me for my administrative um, password and username because you have to have administrator privileges in order to make these changes and I have a separate administrator account that I am not currently logged in under. So I went ahead and entered my credentials and now you can see that my renaming of the application has gone through. That way when we go over to the Literature and Latte website to download Scrivener it will not override this because it's just going to download it as Scrivener. So here we are at the main Literature and Latte website. This image is part of a slider here, so if it's not on the Scrivener part of the slider, then just go up to Products and choose Scrivener. And then you can download the free trial of Scrivener 3, or you can do the Buy Now. And then scroll down until you see Upgrade from an older version. And you will need your email address that you used for buying the previous version of Scrivener. Again, that's for if you bought direct from them. And then down here it explains how to get the upgrade pricing if you bought it from the Mac App Store. So I hope you found this brief overview of some things you should consider before downloading Scrivener 3 helpful. Let me know what you think of Scrivener 3, and I will see you in the next video. Happy writing! Bye!